Now before making any changes in the system BIOS, you can read this if you are not used to making changes in BIOS settings, contact system manufacturer customer support because incorrect configuring BIOS settings can cause issues with your PC including no boot issues. You can also go to EA website, you can go through this. Uh, here you can see how to use secure boot on your PC. You can go through the details and you can also visit Microsoft website here also. Uh, there is an article how to enable secure boot on my PC. Now, first of all, check. You can type in MS Info 32 in Windows search box and then click on system information over here and check if the secure boot is on or not. So here you can see secure boot state is off and then also make sure you can check TPM dot MSC. You can type in TPM dot MSC in Windows search box and then click on TPM dot MSC. And over here, compatible TPM cannot be found. So if you see this, you can uh, go to the system BIOS. Now for this, you can open Windows settings and then you can go to Windows update and then go to advanced option, go to recovery option and then advanced startup, restart your PC to change startup settings, including starting from a disk or USB drive. You can select this option and then click on restart now so click on restart now now on this screen go to troubleshoot option and then go to advanced option over here and then go to uafi firmware settings click on it and then click on restart over here now this will take you to the system bios now you can go to boot option so in my case it's boot configuration and over here you can see the boot mode is set to UEFI. So make sure this is set to UEFI only. And then you can scroll down and find secure boot. So over here you can see a secure boot option. And the secure boot is off over here. You can see secure boot is off. Now you can turn it on. So you can just turn on the secure boot. And then at the bottom you will see apply changes option so hit apply changes over here and then click on ok and then you can go to the security option now over here i have intel so it's showing intel platform trust technology this is the tpm 2.0 so you can turn it on and then again at the bottom hit apply changes and then again click on ok and then at the now you can exit for amd users uh, here you can see amd cpu ftpm make sure this trusted computing 2.0 is enabled over here and then check now once done you can launch the game and then check and that should help you to play the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.